All right, so happy Saturday. It's about noon and we just got back from brunch. Uh, we had to push our Mother's Day brunch back to this weekend because we had a soccer tournament last weekend on Mother's Day. So we took Adam's parents out and we all went and got brunch slash breakfast. So I had a steak, eggs, potatoes, and toast, and a mimosa. It was really good. So I definitely had a ton of dishes to get done this morning. So after I did those, the dishwasher was actually free. I had this bottle of Finnish dishwasher cleaner under my sink that I kind of forgot about and I saw it under there and I was like, oh, this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. It really does do a great job cleaning your dishwasher. I recommend it. Okay, so I just uh, did some cleaning in the kitchen. I also am cleaning out my dishwasher with one of those Finnish dishwasher cleaner packs. We've got some clothes in the dryer to take out and then some clothes in the washer that I'm gonna put in the dryer. I'll probably start another load. I wanna make sure that I get caught up on all of my laundry this week because I am traveling next week for work. So I need to get my ish together. So in the spirit of trying to get everyone's closets organized, I did order a pack of these hangers from Amazon. These are like the velvet ones. Um, they were pretty cheap, so I'll link them down below. I think they came in a box of like 50, but I really like these because I like the shape of them. So like when I have to hang up something to dry, it doesn't get those like creases or those little points, you know, like on the shoulder. Um, and I like them because you can hang stuff up on them and it doesn't slip off either. So one of the things that I did this weekend was to switch out Connor's pillows. He definitely needed new pillows and it was Marlo to the rescue. I worked with Marlo before here on my channel. They're actually sponsoring this weekend prep video, which I'm super excited for because I seriously love their pillows. Like I told you guys the last time I worked with them that I got their pillows also for my bed and it solved my neck pain. Marlo was actually launched by the founders of Brooklinen who I've also worked with before and who has awesome bedding. Their pillow provides the perfect amount of support and the awesome thing is that it's adjustable. So each side of the Marlo pillow actually has a zipper and so you can zip it up if you want a firmer pillow or you can unzip it if you want a softer pillow. It also has cooling infused foam so if you're a hot sleeper this is definitely going to help you. I honestly cannot recommend these pillows enough and in fact I was actually <laughs> traveling with my co-workers a couple weeks ago and they were telling me that they needed new pillows and I was like oh my gosh I have the perfect pillow for you so I shared uh, my link with them and my coupon code and I hope that you guys take advantage of this too because they are having an awesome Memorial Day sale. You can actually save up to 30% for Marlowe's Memorial Day sale plus you're going to get an extra 20% off if you use my code. If you guys want to take advantage of this deal make sure that you do it soon because this sale is definitely ending soon. I'll have a link in the description box below. So make sure you use my link to get your awesome Memorial Day sale discount. And the more pillows you buy, the more you're gonna save. So stock up. I highly, highly recommend these pillows. You will not regret it. So check out my link in the description box below. Okay, so it is now about four o'clock on, on Saturday and I'm here to give you a little update on what I'm doing. So I ended up taking Kira to Hibbit Sports to get some new shorts. She needed more shorts for the summer. She also needed a pair of tennis shoes for some activities that she's gonna be doing this summer because all she had were Converse. And I'm like, that's not gonna be uh, very comfortable <laughs> for being on your feet all day. So um, right now I am basically working on filming some videos. So I guess I'll just give you guys kind of like a behind the scenes look. So I'm filming two different videos. Actually, I'm filming three. So it gets kind of confusing sometimes. I'm filming a weekend prep video. I'm filming an Instant Pot Recipes video. And I'm also filming a meal prep video. <laughs> so I've got multiple things going on here. Um, so let me show you. So my dishwasher is open because I've been continuously loading it. Um, I had several different kinds of meat that I was meal prepping. So I had all my different uh, plastic cutting boards out. And then over here, I've got kind of a mess. I just made some salsa verde chicken in the Instant Pot. And then I also rinsed and drained some chickpeas because I'm gonna make some homemade hummus. I'm looking super forward to it. 
because I haven't made some in forever. Um, I meal prepped some rice because that's a great thing to meal prep for the week and you can also freeze it. And then I've got the, my other Instant Pot over here. I've got my tripod, I've got my little light. And then over here I've got more mess. So this was the Salsa Verde check-in um, that I just made. I need to photograph it uh, because I like to have pictures if, especially if I think, well, especially if I think someday I might want to post the recipe on my blog. I'm not super active with blogging because I just don't have time, but I like to get a good picture of it because you know, you never know when you're going to need it. So I have some tostadas here. Um, I basically just have this on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. So I'll probably take some photos, uh, maybe some, some like this and some straight down. Uh, I normally take the photos over here kind of by the door. The light is shining in there now. So you don't, obviously don't want to do it in direct sunlight, but just kind of where uh, it's light. That wasn't a very good. <laughs> That wasn't a very good explanation. Um, I don't, do not consider myself a professional photographer at all. Although I was very into photography when I was into scrapbooking for many, many years. Um, I still have my DSLR camera and I, I think I know how to use it still <laughs> in manual mode. It's been a long time since I've actually taken pictures of it. I was a lot more into it when my kids were little and they actually like to be photographed. So I'm glad that I have like really good pictures of them. Um, and I actually used to help one of my friends um, shoot weddings as well. I used to be like the second shooter person at the weddings, which I, it made me a little extra bit of money on the weekends, but it wasn't really my favorite. <laughs> it wasn't really my favorite thing to do, but it did give me some practice with photography. So I'm gonna phot photograph this and then, I don't know, move on to the next thing. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna make hot dogs on the grill because it is so nice outside. In fact, Milo was out here laying in the sun earlier. It's like sunny, 72 degrees. Adam still hasn't put my paintings up yet. What is he doing? He needs to get on that. They're not paintings, they're prints. Okay, so dinner time, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a bunch of food on the grill. So I've got some hot dogs. I've got two um, pork chops that I seasoned with barbecue seasoning and two salmon fillets that have lemon pepper. So I've got to say that tonight's dinner was honestly pretty low effort. It's like hot dogs, anybody? Um, but you know what? That's just what happens sometimes. So ever since I've last seen you, I have finished filming my meal prep video that I needed to do. I got all of the clips uploaded, all of the voiceover done. So I feel very accomplished with that, honestly. That was one of the things that I definitely wanted to get done today. Um, now it is almost midnight. I don't know if you can hear the dogs snoring on the floor, but they're ready to go to bed. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning and happy Sunday. Let's make some breakfast. So this morning for breakfast, I was basically just trying to use up everything that I had in the fridge and freezer. So I had some hash browns in the freezer. I went ahead and cooked those up. I always love frying hash browns in a little bit of butter and I use seasoned salt. And then I also had some sausage patties in the freezer. So I went ahead and cooked those up. I had some English muffins. So I made those into some breakfast sandwiches. And then we had the hash browns on the side, which was super delicious. We had a soccer game to go to this morning, but it wasn't until later. So it was kind of nice just to have like a little bit of a slow morning. I don't always get to have those. Uh, the good thing is, is that spring soccer will be over probably within the next month. So I'm kind of looking forward to having my weekends back a little bit. I mean, it's super fun to be a sports mom. As some of you guys know, obviously it's fun to like go and, and watch my kids play sports and, and do all that stuff. But, um, it's also nice to just kind of have slow, relaxing weekends as well. So I kind of just took some time this morning to sit down with my planner. I had a ton of sticky notes that I basically plaster all over my desk during the week and I needed to take those and put them into a comprehensive to-do list so that I knew what I had to do for the week ahead. 
Next, I wanted to get some of my produce processed. So I worked on this some the day before, but I had more, more to wash and prep. Um, I told you guys I'm gonna be going out of town this week for work. And so I just wanted to make sure that all of my produce was kind of washed and cut up and in the fridge or in the fruit basket or wherever it belongs, because if it's not washed up, no one's gonna eat it, including myself when I am home. So I washed and cut up some celery. Connor really likes to snack on that. And then I also washed up some apples. I also meal prepped some hummus, which I just posted in one of my last videos. It was kind of an ingredient meal prep. So check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. And then I also had my celery and carrots. Okay, so it is Sunday afternoon about three o'clock. We went to Connor's soccer game this morning. They lost. It was a good team and they actually had a lot of their uh, better players that weren't there today because there were baseball games. So I'm at Aldi right now. I was going to go to hy V. I I need to get some ingredients for a couple of recipes that I need to film today. But I looked at my list and I was like, I think I can get everything at Aldi. So I'm deciding to come here because I know if I come here, I'll spend way less money than if I go to hy V. So change of plans. I walked up to Aldi and they have a sign on the door that says that they are only taking cash no cards so uh, fun fact um i always keep a 50 dollar bill in the back of my phone case like in between my phone case and my phone um just like for an emergency in case i need it like especially since i travel so much for work i don't know you never know when you're gonna be somewhere and your credit card's not gonna work or whatever and i was like am i gonna spend more than 50 dollars? i think i am I think I'm gonna spend more than 50. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So anyway, now I'm at high V. Plan was foiled. Maybe I should start keeping a hundred in there. But then the only thing about a, about hundreds is like sometimes people can't break them. So I don't know. This is a really good deal for mini cucumbers, $1.99. Oh look, they have Chick-fil-A dressing now in the grocery store. I've never seen this before. This is actually the kind I get at Chick-fil-A when I get that like cool wrap, but it's, a, it's high in calories, 160 calories for two tablespoons. So I normally go with the Bolt House cilantro avocado and it tastes almost exactly the same. Okay, so these grapes are exactly the same price as the regular grapes and they're already washed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them. Have you guys seen these before? They're little suddenly salad deli kits. I'm not gonna get them, but I've never seen them before. They have these Alani protein bars on sale for a dollar each. I can't remember whether I've tried these before. I feel like I have. But I wonder why they're on clearance so much. But I was also looking to see if they had any of the Power Crunch bars. These are my favorite protein bars. They're so good. They have peanut butter, vanilla, triple chocolate, and chocolate mint. I think I'm gonna get, actually these, I think I'm gonna get the vanilla ones. These are really good. These um, Cliff Thins, they're 100 calorie like little chocolate chip bars, but they're so much cheaper at Walmart. $10 here for seven packages, no thank you. So my whole family just gives me like unending amounts of crap for the time that I spend at the grocery store, meaning it's like <laughs> excessive. And I think the reason I do that is because it's almost like a relaxing thing for me. I know a lot of people like really hate grocery shopping, but there's nothing that, well, I shouldn't say there's nothing I like better. There's a lot of things I like better, but I just like strolling through the store, just looking at the ingredients, what's on sale, you know, put my AirPods in, listen to a podcast, listen to a YouTube video. And it's like, maybe if I actually took more time out on my weekends to actually relax, then that wouldn't happen. And I wouldn't have to like do my relaxing time in the grocery store, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so have you guys tried the new, is it white chocolate macadamia cold foam cold brew? It's pretty good. I get it without any um, syrup in the cold brew part and it's like just sweet enough i don't i don't like too much sweetener in it okay so i'm gonna go gonna 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 i'm gonna go i'm gonna go home and then i'll show you what i got from the store okay so this is everything that i got from hy V. not a ton of stuff but i haven't done the meal plan yet for this week so i didn't really want to 
get all of my groceries until I did that. So I just got what I knew that we needed and what I needed for the recipes that I'm gonna make today. And then I'll probably put in a Walmart order for tonight. So I did get some lemons because I'm running short on those. Actually, I think I'm all gone after cooking yesterday. The lemons at Hy-Vee were 99 cents each. So I was just gonna get two of them. But then I saw that they had these big bags of organic lemons for $4.99 and there's quite a few in there. So I thought, well, we'll take advantage of that. I got some bananas. These were, I think, 58 cents a pound, which I know is probably more than I could get them for at Hy-Vee and Walmart. But since I was there, I just grabbed them. Two uh, one pound packages of strawberries. I got a can of hominy because I'm gonna make some pozole in the Instant Pot. Some cilantro. Um, some of these mini seedless cucumbers. It's a really good price. I showed you guys this in the store. I got three packages of fresh blackberries. These were actually a good price, um, cheaper than they have been at Walmart. I really, honestly, now that produce is back in season, I really need to start going to Aldi um, more regularly again because I find that they have the best prices on fresh fruit. Um, I was very excited to see that they had pre-washed grapes on sale. I guess they are not really on sale, but they're $3.99 a pound, which is the same price that the unwashed ones were, so why not take advantage of that? Um, we needed some more tortilla chips, and these were on sale in the Hy-Vee app for $0.99, cents, so I got those. I got a pack of Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi, some ricotta cheese for a recipe, some juice boxes for the kids' lunches, and then I just got a small container of cottage cheese since I'm only going to be home a couple of days this week. I didn't want to buy a big container and have it go bad. Um, I got some light Cool Whip because I'm going to make a Jello cake this afternoon. So for that also, I got the strawberry cake mix. And then I got two packages of sugar-free strawberry Jello. So we'll do that in a little bit. Um, I got some taco seasoning. I actually got this for free because this was a couple weeks ago. I bought a package of Old El Paso tortillas from Walmart and they were moldy. And so I just sent some pic, I emailed pictures to the company just to let them know. Um, and they wanted to know like the lot number and everything. So they did send me some coupons for like three free items. So I decided to use this one today because I can always use taco seasoning. So tip there, you know, if you ever get something that's not quite up to par and you don't want to deal with taking it back to the grocery store, just take pictures of it and email the company. They're like normally pretty good about reimbursing you. Um, I got two packages of chicken thighs. So my sister has convinced me to try chicken thighs. So one of these is going to be for uh, pozole. I know pozole is normally made with pork, but I'm trying chicken. And then another one of these is for a bourbon chicken recipe. I got a pork loin for a carnitas recipe. I love Hy-Vee's deli meat. I just think it is superior to Walmart's. So I got a pound. What are we singing? We are singing. Okay, I got a pound of the Deluso smoked turkey breast. The kids needed some toothpaste, so I got them some of that. These were on sale for $2.99, the Belgioso fresh mozzarella. So I got a package of this because I have some tomatoes. I can make caprese with that. Okay, I don't know where I have been sleeping on these, but these Velveeta slices, um, if you guys are watching your calories, they're only 35 calories each. And really, I normally only use them on breakfast sandwiches, but you can also make grilled cheese with them. I mean, it's probably not real food, but you know, for a processed cheese <laughs> slice, 35 calories isn't bad. Um, I got a pound of ground beef. I got some of the Jolly Time Simply Popped Butter Microwave Popcorn, some Skippy Peanut Butter, flour tortillas, one red onion, some garlic paste. I don't know if I said that. I'm gonna try to make some biscotti today, and so I need some slivered almonds for that. And then have you guys seen the new flavors of Doritos? There's a ketchup one and a hot mustard one. I could not find the hot mustard one, but I thought this would be fun to try, so I got those. And then Starbucks Pride Collection is out. So I got this coffee mug. Isn't it so awesome? It's like very 90s-ish colors. It says Tim Singleton in Starbucks. And then it's their 2023 Pride Collection. So I could not pass that up. Okay, so Jello poke cake. I haven't made one of these in forever. I'm gonna make it a little bit 
healthier, less calories too. So I've got a 13 by nine dish here. I'm gonna use some of this Baker's Joy. I like using this for baking because it has um, flour in it. So it does help your baked goods from sticking. Okay, so the cake mix calls for half a cup of oil. I don't want to use that much oil because it's gonna add too many calories. So I'm gonna use some unsweetened applesauce instead. And then I'm gonna add three eggs. I'm gonna add one cup of water and then I'm gonna mix together the wet ingredients. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my strawberry cake mix. I'm also gonna add a little bit of almond extract, not too much, but I do like the flavor it gives in a cake. And then we'll mix this up for about two minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my batter into the pan. And then I'm gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna make some pozole in the Instant Pot, which is going right now, but I don't think the kids are gonna to wanna to eat that for dinner. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some um, beef tacos. I'm just gonna use a pound of ground beef. Ground beef is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a paper towel to soak up most of the grease. It's not perfect, but it's a good way to get most of the grease out without having to drain it. Okay, I'm gonna add some taco seasoning. And then turn the heat back on about a cup of water. I might add a little bit more water, we'll see. And I just like to simmer this for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. And obviously I'll taste it, and if it needs salt, I'll add salt. If it needs more taco seasoning, I'll add more taco seasoning. So our cake is done, and I've let it cool for about 15 minutes. I'm just gonna take a regular fork, and you just wanna poke holes about an inch apart throughout the whole cake. If you've never made one of these before, it's super easy, I'll link the recipe down below. It's definitely a crowd pleaser too. doesn't have to be perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up the jello mixture just like we would if we're gonna make jello. So one cup of boiling water, one cup of cold water, and then we'll pour the jello mixture over the top, stick it in the fridge, and leave it there for about three hours and then frost it with Cool Whip. All right, so I've got my boiling water here. I'm gonna add in the jello. Okay, so I added my one cup of cold water. This is a random thing from my childhood, but maybe some of you had it also. So I just remember when we were sick and we were at my grandma's house, she would make us hot jello. She would mix up jello just like this, and she would leave it warm, and we would drink it out of mugs when we were sick. Is that like something that anyone else did, or is that just me? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna probably cover this. Well, am I gonna cover it? No, I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge. Um, when it cools down, I'll probably cover it with saran wrap. Okay, so I think I've showed this before a while ago, but this is um, a container for deli meat. And I really like it because you can see what's in there. It's easy to access. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the turkey in there that I got from hy -V. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put pepperoni. I need to get some more of this when I get groceries tomorrow. Okay, so for dinner, I made some pozole. You guys will be seeing that in an Instant Pot video coming up soon. And then I also made some quesadillas on the side. That is what Adam and I had. The kids are not super huge fans of pozole, but they will always eat tacos. So I cooked up that ground beef, obviously, and made them some soft shell tacos. And they really, really enjoyed that for dinner, and it was super easy. Okay, so our cake has been in the fridge for a couple of hours. 
all I'm gonna do is take a tub of uh, light Cool Whip and put it over the top. And you do have to store this in the fridge, obviously, once you make it because it does have the Cool Whip on top and the Jello. Okay, so here's what the cake looks like inside. If you did like white cake with colored Jello, you would be able to see like the streaks a little bit more. But since I used both the strawberry cake and strawberry Jello, you have to be able to see it that well. But I just put a few fresh strawberries on top, and it's delicious. I also had some more berries to get cut up. So this is another thing that I always try to get done on the weekends is just prepping my produce. This doesn't last for long, especially the fruit, but if I cut it up, everyone will eat it. All right, so it's Monday and I haven't seen you guys <laughs> since yesterday, but we are continuing this weekend prep video because today has been crazy. So I had a super busy day at work. Um, after work, Kara got home from school. We um, both needed a nail appointment, so we went and got our nails done. I picked up Subway for dinner. Adam should be home with Connor from soccer practice here in a little bit. And I just got the rest of the groceries for the week for Adam and the kids while I'm gone. So let me show you what I got. I did the Walmart um, like two hour delivery, which is super nice. If you have Walmart Plus, it's like it's like worth its weight in gold. Okay, so this is mostly gonna be a lot of easy food that Adam and the kids can make while I'm gone this week. So I got some of these honey breast tenders. If you haven't tried these before, they're really good. Um, we usually cook them in the air fryer. I think they taste really close to McDonald's nuggets. And then I got some white bread and some wheat bread for sandwiches and toast. I got three of the Jack's Thin Crust Pizza. Hot take, this is my favorite kind of frozen pizza. I know it's like super cheap and thin like cardboard, but I don't know, we really like it. I, don't, I wouldn't say we really like it, you know, but for frozen pizza, it's decent. Um, I got some hot dogs, some hot dog buns. I also got a pound of ground beef, which I may or may not put in the freezer, I haven't decided yet. Some of the fresh mozzarella pearls, Connor really likes those. Um, some hamburger buns to go with uh, fish, for fish sandwiches some garlic sticks to go with ravioli, chocolate chip muffins, the kids like to have these for breakfast. Um, I got some pepperoni pizza hot pockets, the kids like to have those, and then some Velveeta shells and cheese. Um, I got some sugar-free lime jello, the kids like to have this for their lunches. Some of the Dan and Light and Fit protein yogurt smoothies, uh, hot dog buns, I think I already said that. I got some Lunchables, um, pepperoni pizza, and the turkey and cheddar some Slim Jims, some Capri Sun Roaring Waters, uh, chocolate chip granola bars, some saltines, because we are all out of those, a couple cans of baked beans, some Cheez-Its for the kids to take for a snack for school, um, some Fairlife milk, garbage bags, and some Diet 7 Up. So one of the things I like to do after I kind of start putting all my groceries away is just taking everything out of the packages. I've done, you know, tons of videos before where I kind of showed how I organized my fridge and my pantry. But one of the things that I always try to do is take everything out of the cardboard and plastic that it comes in because I find that it just takes up too much space. I try to organize the fridge to the best of my abilities. I always feel like I struggle with this. And especially when I'm gonna be like out of town for the week, I don't know, I just, I always like put this pressure on myself to organize everything so that everyone can see it. And at the end of the day, like I just can't control everything when I'm gone, so I have to leave it be. But I've told you guys, I have lamented about this stupid Samsung refrigerator for the last two years. I do not under any circumstances recommend anyone getting a Samsung refrigerator. We've had so many problems with drainage tubes and the ice maker doesn't work. Things are freezing up. Obviously the refrigerator still works, so we haven't gotten a new one yet, but it's been nothing but trouble. Um, after that, I went ahead and did my meal plan for the week based on what I got at the grocery store. So I planned out fish sandwiches, mac and cheese, and then um, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my ravioli bake. So I've showed you guys this before, but it's an awesome recipe to meal prep. So I just take a freezer pan and I spray it with nonstick cooking spray. I add some marinara sauce to the bottom, and then basically you just layer um, frozen ravioli with sauce. I usually do about three or four layers. You can use meat sauce if you want, or you can use meat ravioli. 
with the plain marinara sauce. My family actually likes the cheese ravioli better, so that's what I tend to use. But this is a super kind of like family-friendly meal that I normally prep for Adam and the kids when I'm going to leave for the week. So normally what I do is I prep this, I put foil on top, and then I always just put like a label with um, some cooking instructions. I use kind of like the name tag labels that you can just get at Walmart. Um, and yeah, that usually ends up being a super easy meal for them while I'm gone. And then for my bananas that I had ripening, like normally if I'm home, I would probably make those into like banana bars or banana bread or something like that. But since I wasn't going to be home, I didn't want these bananas to go to waste. So I'm just slicing them into a freezer bag and then I'll stick them in the freezer and use them for smoothies. I also went ahead and washed the cucumbers up so I'll be curious to see if those got eaten <laughs> while I was gone. So to end the night I uh, had some coffee, I had a little bit of biscotti and I just sat in my room and watched some YouTube and folded some clothes but that is what I got accomplished this weekend so just kind of a super real weekend in my life when I'm trying to like prep and get everything done before I go out of town for work. So if you guys want to see my latest meal prep video, which is an ingredient meal prep, make sure you click on the screen right here. And don't forget to check out Marlo. They've got that Memorial Day sale. So check that out in the description box below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.